Hello everyone, welcome back. Hey, this is uh, past Black Friday. I uh, picked up this rigid miter saw stand from Home Depot. They had it on sale for $99, which is a really good deal. I think it originally cost uh, $199, so basically you got half off. So I um, filmed this probably about a week ago, but for some reason my audio didn't record. So we're going to try and do it this way. I'm going to show you how to assemble all this stuff. Um, I wasn't sure how much assembly was going to be required until I got the box open, but evidently there's quite a bit. So first we're going to go ahead and put the wheels on. You're gonna, there's three separate uh, boxes uh, or bags with nuts and bolts. Uh, you're going to want the bag that has these uh, orange and gray knobs in them. Those are the where the axle bolts are for the wheels. So go ahead and take those knobs out, set those aside. You won't need those until later. So you're going to grab the axle nuts and bolts. And of course you're going to need the wheels. Uh, the wheels go on one way and it's pretty obvious which way they go on. Uh, on the outside of the wheel it says rigid. So obviously you're going to want that part facing outward. So you're going to stick the wheel in and then um, put the washer and the nut on. You can just go ahead and do both sides. Nothing really too difficult here. Uh, you're going to need a 17 millimeter uh, socket. For the nut. So you're going to get both wheels on. Obviously the other side is installed the same way. You take the, they're calling it an axle bolt. And uh, put it through the tire and then put it through the stand itself and Put the washer on and then the nut. And then just go ahead and tighten all those up with the 17 millimeter socket. All right. Once you get uh, both of the wheels on, uh, we're going to go ahead and put the frame. It's called the frame support. So you're going to put that on obviously it goes in the there's um, the tubes that are down by the wheels it goes slides into the tube and on the bottom of this it's the the part is called the sh shoe so you're going to put the shoe on and the bolts that you use are the ones with the wing nut on them and uh, I initially put it down through the top, but what you want to do is bring it up through the bottom. So you're going to put the shoe on the bottom and then bring the bolt up through the bottom, through the holes, and then put the wing nut on. So this is why I'm doing this video, so you don't have to make the mistakes that I did. So the frame support goes in, and then there's uh, two rubber shoes. So you're going to put the shoe on the bottom of the frame support. Then get the two bolts that have the wing nuts attached. Unscrew the wing nut. 
and then feed the bolt through the shoe, through the tube, and then through the frame support, and you're going to screw all them down. And then after that's finished, you're going to go to the handle. The handle is put on with the, the screws that have the, I'm, I'm going to call it a bell-shaped nut, where it's not a regular nut where the bolt would go, all, you know, the nut would be able to screw all the way through. So you just go ahead and put the handle on, um, line up the holes, and then go ahead and feed the bolt through. And then uh, tighten the bell nut onto the handle. Once you got all that stuff done, uh, you're going to take uh, the two uh, leftover bolts that were in the same package as uh, those orange and gray knobs. Uh, there's two U-brackets on the underneath. You're going to raise it up here and you're gonna those two tubes there you have to line up the holes and get those two bolts through so the tube will go in between the u bracket on the underneath as you see here and then put the bolt through this was a little difficult, but uh, I got it done, so just be prepared to fight with it a little bit. But once you get everything lined up uh, and tightened down. So I do not have a rigid miter saw. This is my miter saw. It's a Hitachi miter saw. So this is supposed to be a universal uh, miter saw table, so we'll see how my miter saw attaches to it. And here I have it mounted on the table. It doesn't sit on there exactly right, I don't think, but it's on there and it's secure. So you got all your, uh, uh, the work stop and the work support arm and all that stuff. And that's where those orange and gray knobs come from. So I wrapped up the cord on my miter saw and you go back here, grab it by the handle and there's a little lever right there where I hit it with my foot. And you can go ahead and collapse the table. Uh, it snaps down and then it, uh, you can wheel it pretty much anywhere you want to go. And it moves really easy on those 12 inch wheels. You get to where you want to go. You hit the little lever, releasing it. And there you go. It's pretty slick actually. I like it a lot. And um, before I had this table, I was kneeling on the floor and doing my cuts like that and that wasn't good for my back or my knees or anything so I'm really happy with my purchase uh, like I said you don't need a rigid miter saw to fit the table everything uh, fit pretty good so
Here I am again. There's the the way that this mounts on the saw, the quick release, uh, the bolts feed up through the bottom. Uh, put the bolt in and then feed it through your miter saw and then put your washer and your nut on.